Okay, so this is going to be the last of my um, little triage of videos today. Um, just pretty much like finishing up my get ready with me video. Uh, this might be extremely boring to some people. I just basically want an excuse to do a video. That's just me. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start off. Um, oh, by the way, obviously I did my foundation in the last, uh, in the last uh, video that I did. So if you haven't seen that, um, you can click back to see what I used, I did, um, and how I applied it. Um, so that's that. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and take my MAC uh, brow, uh, eyebrow crayon. This is in the color Fling. I don't know if I quite like this color on me or not. Um, I do have really light brows, but I think I want a darker color. But I used to use Omega to fill in my eyebrows, the eyeshadow, so this was the closest thing to that. So I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that with my little crappy mirror and start filling in. Lord, I need to get my eyebrows threaded. I'm just kind of waiting until like right before the baby shower to do anything cosmetic, basically. Like I need other, obviously I need to do my roots and stuff like that, so... Side note, do the other side. I don't know why, does anybody else have this problem with their eyebrows where one eyebrow is like a different shape than the other one and it's just really annoying to try and get them the same? <laughs> or at least the illusion of them looking the same? I'm going to take my trusty, everyone loves my painterly paint bottle with the cracked thingamabobber on it. Excuse me. Ooh, that was gross. Um, you suffer many indignities when you're pregnant. I'll tell you that. It's really bad. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to spread this all over my eyes. By the way, if you do have overgrown eyebrows as I do, this is kind of a good step to try and kind of conceal them a little bit. Um, if you just put it right up to where you would want your brows to be over the stray hairs and stuff, it'll kind of give you uh, the illusion. Well, not quite, but it'll definitely help in covering that. Just put it slightly heavier. And then when you put your eyeshadow, like, it really won't be, like, that noticeable. Okay. So. That's I'm going to be boring today and be a neutral lid kind of girl. I don't know, I don't want to use it. Um, that's my blush palette. Yes, Let's just put that to the side. So, I really should just put these four eyeshadows back from whence they came in this palette. Um, it might make my life a little bit easier. I don't know. I took them out a while ago to make it easier for travel, but then I realized I don't really freaking go anywhere. So, why? Um, I don't know. What should I use? Should I use Woodwinked? You know what? I never use Tempting. I think I'll use Tempting today. Let's go with that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take my trusty, dirty, filthy 239 uh, brush and dip it into Tempting, which is this color right here. This beautiful gold color that doesn't get enough love for me. Fling that off and just kind of pat press that over the eyelid. I usually prefer doing my eye makeup before I do my foundation, but since I decided to do the foundation tutorial first, like a genius that I am, I just have to deal with it now and hope I don't get a crap load of fallout. Actually, you know what would have been really pretty to use today? It was Club. Anybody else love Club? I love it. I just never use it that often. 
today would have been the perfect opportunity and yet I did not. Because again, I have my stuff separated into quads for no reason and I don't have it on me. So, that's that. And now I'm going to take, I think I'll take mulch. I will do mulch. So, this is mulch right here. It's a brownie, reddish, um, dark, medium dark brown with some gold flecks in it. I'm going to use that in the crease today. Just put that right there using my little Coastal Scents blending brush that I love. I'm just going to bring that up here. Using very light pressure, just kind of window wash that. Now, I do like to bring it up more recently, so even though I'm going to look a little crazy right now, it will get blended out, I promise. I won't leave it like that. Just kind of bring it in a little bit right here. Um, okay. I'm going to take... Sometimes I have a problem with this, I don't know why. Woo! Good thing I'm cleaning that off. Stephanie, why don't you ever clean your brushes? Because this is what happens, that's why. Alright, so I'm going to take my tiny fluffy pencil brush. This is a round crease brush that I also got from Coastal Sense that I'm just going to use right here to bring it down to the lash line a little bit better. Sometimes, I don't know why, the other brush will give me a little bit of a problem. I usually use this to do just like concentrated work right here. Probably looks darker because it had a little bit of black on there, so pardon moi. Just go ahead and do that. Make a little round shape like that. Now I'm going to go back with the other brush and do the other eye. I don't know why this side is always so much harder to do. It's kind of funny. Of course, as with any makeup tutorial, you do not have to use these exact colors if you have things that are close to it. Wet n Wild is a fantastic drugstore. Um, like, cheapest of the cheap drugstore, by the way. Um, eyeshadow uh, maker maker of the great eyeshadows for like a dollar ninety-nine or however I know they're not even but that's okay I'm gonna take a little bit of this again and just go in there to try and bring it closer to the lash line just kind of round it out like that okay so I know I probably look crazy. That's okay. Because I'm going to take this bad boy, my other favorite Coastal Sense brush, and go in with. Hmm, let's do Retrospect. I was going to do vanilla, but I don't think I want a matte highlighter today. So I'm going to take Retrospect, a well loved color. This is a very pretty. Um, pale gold with more gold shimmer in it. <laughs> I'm just gonna take that and just kind of blend that out. This literally does all the hard work for me. I, I bring it way down here by the way. You don't have to. That's just what I like to do. I hope I'm not covering the sound when I talk into this Sorry, I know that's probably super annoying. And then I just kind of take it like this to try and blend out the bottom. And that looks slightly better. Take more of the retrospect. Go in on the other eye. I just kind of blend it back and forth like this 
to get a more even color, better blendability. And then I'm going to take it, just put it like this, and then push, excuse me, push up like that. That looks pretty even to me. Alright, so that's it on the eyeshadows. I don't really like to go underneath my eyes with eyeshadows or um, liners that much just because I have really dark discoloration there anyways, so I don't like to add to the problem. I'm going to take, uh, yeah, all right, I'll take you. Um, this is a Clinique Cream Shaper for Eyes in Chocolate Luster. I got these for free. I got this one and the black one for free. Um, when, yeah, this is not for individual sale. So they were, they were actually pretty good size when I first got them. Um, yeah, I got them. I got them like something. Anyway, so this is kind of going to be difficult for me because I like to hold my eye when I do this. So I'm just going to run the color right at the lash line. Have music and then I should speed this up. If I knew how to edit, I totally would. But I don't. So you're stuck with me. Just gonna run this. I always like using a liner, even if it's brown, just because I feel like it adds more definition to my lashes. And it just makes your eyes look more... <sighs> I definitely like the way a thinner line would look on me than a thicker line. Excuse me, I'm gonna try and... Highly impractical. Anyway, so that's that. I think a thicker line because my eyes are kind of round tends to make me look freakish. So I'm very excited today um, thinking about purchasing a eyelash curler, which if anyone who knows me and watched my other videos, I never use eyelash curlers. I never have because um, I've used cheap ones in the past and they just pinch the crap out of my skin. I really don't like them. But I think I might bite the bullet and maybe spend more than a dollar on my eyelash curler. So, um, this is, oh, by the way, this is the Maybelline Full and Soft. <laughs> might have helped if I showed you. This is the way it looks, Full and Soft. This is in the color Very Black. I love this um, mascara. This is an old favorite, um, dating back to, like, high school, and I come kind of back and forth to it over the years. Um... It is extremely nice. I really wish I had bought this in waterproof because I love waterproof mascaras. So I have noticed that since this is not waterproof, I sometimes get little flakes here that kind of fall, which totally sucks. But with waterproof mascara, that will not happen. Most of the time, I guess it really depends on the mascara you get in general, but most of the time if you get waterproof mascara, you won't have that problem. Um, this is kind of an old tube, so it's much more dried out than when it was, but it still works really, really nice. I like to put two coats, so I'm going to do the bottom. Make a funny face. My cat totally passed out behind me. <laughs> She's so funny. She's like the energized runner. She'll just keep going for hours and then just like stop. <gasps> no! I hate when I do that. 
I hate when I do that. Another reason I like to, um, I like to put my foundation last. That's okay. I can fix that. And I can show you how to fix that without having to go out of your way and get makeup remover. Now some people will tell you to wait till it's dry to, to just flake it off. That's never worked for me personally. I have to get it when it's still wet. I guess it's up to personal experience for you how you like to do that. I like to just get it. Funny face. Do a really quick second coat on the on the other side. I'm thinking about getting a pair of false lashes. Now I've only tried them like once or twice in my life because I do have relatively long lashes naturally, anyways. But for like special occasions, I was thinking it'd be kind of nice to have my little fake doll lashes. Uh, any recommendations? I heard the Ardell ones work really nice. I'm definitely looking for drugstore only since, like I said, I would probably only wear them like once in a blue moon. But. You can definitely get good quality from drugstore makeup. Obviously. So, now I'm done with the eyes. Let me just go ahead and take this guy, my foundation brush, and just kind of run under my eyes to kind of clean up a little bit. Now I'm just going to take woo, my, uh, my blush, which is going to be Max. Margin? No, yeah. It's a margin. I'm pretty sure it's margin. It's the frosty, frosty kind of peachy version. Um, that reminds me of Warm Soul, which is what I originally wanted to get was Warm Soul, but I wanted it to fit in my palette, and you can't put a mineralized blush in the palette. It's just not gonna work. So I like to just pat it over my cheeks, blend it into the hairline, I don't like wiping away the coverage, so, this is a really frosty pigmented blush by the way, if, if that's not your thing, you are definitely more than welcome to substitute a matte peachy color, or whatever you feel like using. I wonder how this is going to turn out on camera. I've actually never photographed with this before. It'll be interesting. Alright. That's that. I'm going to take this otherwise useless brush from Bare Essentials. It's just a round, flat, domed brush. I'm going to be using Max Light Skipade Minerals um, Skin Finish which is to me extremely overrated first of all look at that does that look beautiful to you <laughs> I was expecting it to be like really pretty because it came out when it first came out it was super pretty and I had different veining of like gold and blue and pink and it was gorgeous and then the last time it came out was it, I want to say last summer or sometime around there and it was just kind of a dud. It had no veining to it. I mean, the color comes out the same. So I guess it doesn't really matter. But I don't really like the color all that much, to be honest with you, either. Like, this is not what I would have chosen. I just got kind of caught up in the hype. I mean, it's really pretty. I'm still going to use it. But it just wasn't worth the hype for me. Anyways. So then, I'm going to take, hello, you moved. I'm going to take, um, if I can find it relatively fast so I don't bore you guys looking through all my lipsticks. Because I have like 30 of them. 
which is so unnecessary. Um, but it's gonna be at the bottom. It's gonna be like the last one I look for. I'm looking for the real sexy orange color. That would be kind of fun. Of course, it's not gonna happen today, it looks like. Uh, maybe I'll take to catch the sailor. That might be fun. Uh, might be a little too brown. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this looks. So first of all, it comes in the cute little tubing. By the way, I did get a couple things from the Hey Sailor collection. I wasn't overly thrilled with it. This is definitely not a color I ever would have chosen. If I had seen it in person, I bought this online. And I'm kind of sad. So this is a really frosty color. Frosty tan color. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about it. Um, that's that. I'm still looking for real sexy. Sorry, pardon me. This might take a minute. I swear to God, this is like embarrassing. Does anybody want me to... Oh, there it is. Does anybody want me to do a... Um, a lipstick video because I have like 10 million of them so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a real sexy I love this color um and just go ahead and wipe this off Mwah. Mwah. if my husband's watching he'll probably be pissed because I made a huge deal about how I had to get this damn lipstick <laughs> I don't even like it I mean I like it it's just not I just not something I really wear that often Anyway, so I'm taking real sexy. And just applying that. Now, I wish I had a cotton on hand or a tissue to blot. My cat's just looking at me like I'm crazy. I am going to wash my hands after this. This is like seriously gross. Anyways, so this is a finished look. Take this one. This out. And I'm going to probably do something with my hair. Anyways, this is my get ready video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, comment below if you have any requests of any kind, any colors or anything. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.